Hello you all, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot, it's, uh, it's Rad and in this whole video we are going to look into Gemini week, uh, December 28th to January, January 3rd, 2021 and um, if, you, if you do want a, a personal reading with me you can always go to my website uh, which link you're going to find into the description down below and uh, also keep in mind that uh, the content for YouTube and, X uh, and Xbox oh my God. <laughs> and Facebook are exclusive. So if you do want to get yourself daily readings, daily tarot guidance, astrology posts and catch me live as well, uh, make sure you're following me on Facebook, which link as well you're going to find into the description down below. So. For Gemini, first card that we do have for the week, that is going to be the Three of Swords. And uh, as you do enter into the week, there are going to be... Well, Three of Swords could play out in a few ways, okay? Well, that depends in, uh, severely on what kind of a situation you are in. But Three of, one, uh, three of Swords, I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's primarily concerned with your thoughts and thinking negatively about the things that you are either experiencing or that you have recently experienced. And that being said, Three of Swords may refer that somebody insults you. It may refer as well that you hear something about yourself that you don't like or you severely disagree with, okay? Or Three of Swords as well could refer to a, a thing from the past that you just cannot shake off your mind. Now, whatever it is, Three of Swords in that particular um, standing, if I may say it that way, it's a card that urges ones to heal from those negative thoughts because they twist and tangle one's mind and, and it's likely that one is going to find itself lost for um, what Tao is have, to, uh, is have to follow from now on. Uh, three of Swords may severely impact your self-esteem, confidence as well, uh, and, in and in generally the way how you look yourself when you look into the mirror. So prepare yourself at the start of the week um, to evoke either a, uh, a poignant memories or to have to face certain individuals that are going to oppose a mental cruelty towards you. In either of the cases, it's, uh, it's very important, once again, not to allow those negative thoughts to dwell, especially if we're talking about mental cruelty. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. That doesn't make it correct, okay? Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the Page of Wands, and this is an individual that, in this particular case, is going to take off and lift up your spirit. So here, with this uh, second card, we could say that most likely we are talking about a mental cruelty. People that are going to confront you uh, and most likely are going to tell you you can't do it, okay, or that you suck into something and so on and so forth. It, it's kind of like people that will try to bring down your spirit, people that will try to pretty much, mm, what, what is the word, uh, make you abandon your thing. It's kind of like bail out of it because, you know, there are those individuals which are talking pretty much nonsense about you and your performance. And uh, here with the page of wands that we do have, that is someone that is decided with you. And the sole purpose of the page of wands into this, uh, into this reading is to remind you that uh, the, uh, so to speak, the best is yet to come, but also to remind you of your own personal strength. And uh, as you do take all those negative vibrations, if I may say it that way, from the collective around, not from everybody though, but for a, a rather big portion of the people that you are associating yourself with, page of wands that comes about is going to bring you only good news. That is a person who always kind of like provides a positive feedback, positive news that something is about to happen and etc, uh, etc. Et so through it, you're, uh, you're going to be more open for everything new that does not relate itself to the to the three of swords to, to the three of swords a uh, subject but instead relates itself to something that it is completely how can I say uh, unattached 
to your current experience. And that's, uh, how can I say, and lastly, the page of uh, the page of wants, this particular individual will uh, banish, if I may say it that way, will banish these, um, these planted seeds of self-doubt and as well lack of self-esteem by, like I said, reminding you how strong you truly are. Moving next, we do have the uh, nine of a pentacles here. And as you do regain your confidence here, the nine of pentacles says that at that point, you are going to be eager to jump into leap into development. Either career wise or either relationship wise, you would simply want to, how can I say, to, to progress in either of those fields. Now with the nine of, uh, with the nine of pentacles, um, depending on is it going to play out in term of career or in term of relationship may mean well it kind of like means the same thing it's that you are getting on to the big thing you know the big fish in term of relationship or the lucrative project in term of career nine of pentacles it's about you progress not not exactly progressing but yeah it is progressing but to a point where you know you're feeling not only confident but as well certain and secure. Nine of Pentacles, it is where you do not concern yourself with small problems because you do have the resources to, uh, to deal with, with those resources uh, thus far. Suffice to say here, it is that you're gonna have a person, I'm sorry guys, that is um, squeaking, I think this is how you call, I mean, this, uh, this sofa here is squeaking and we have to fix it into the studio. But in any case, um, this person that comes up to your aid after you are kind of like a victim of that mental cruelty, insults, you know, or, or criticism that it is not constructive at all. And that person kind of like lifts up your spirit and your enthusiasm and boosts your self-esteem and confidence. From there, you're gonna be eager to just push forward, undertake new stuff, new tasks, you know, new projects, or start meeting up with new people to, uh, with the hope to forge a relationship with. Uh, you are to become a, what, is, what is called probably a, a carefree behavior. This is what you are going to adopt at that point. And uh, yeah, I mean, quite so many doors are going to open uh, for you moving forward with, uh, with this card. So you definitely can hope once you know, once you regain back your confidence to start dating somebody or to jump into a quite a uh, lucrative business venture. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the uh, Nine of Swords, and uh, after that, uh, after the appearance of this either business venture or someone that you can date with, a uh, Nine of Swords refers uh, to your thoughts about what is going to be the worst that may happen. And uh, here we do have a, a large margin of uh, of development or of a presumption of develop of development, if I may say it that way. So you may be uh, you may find yourself being afraid that this lucrative business venture it could fail, or if you do devote yourself or uh, relate yourself too much with the person that you can date with, that person may dump you. For some, for somebody else, you know, or for or for something in generally that he doesn't like, he or she doesn't like. But that is again just within your mind. Here we are talking about uh, presuming the worst that may happen and the consequences of that presumption. And uh, you may think, well, why would I do that? Uh, there is a, a big reason for it uh, within the within the nine of swords. And when you do have a presumption and you do realize the consequences of, of the worst that may happen that makes you place true value over what you have. So the Nine of Swords here makes you place the true value over the uh, Nine of Pentacles, which is going to be huge once again. When Nine of Pentacles plays out, it kind of like you feel that that's my thing, okay? That's my work, that's my job, that's my project. That, that is the thing I have waited for in general in order to find myself being stable in life, either into relationship life, career life, or life uh, in general and nine of swords is there to remind you if you do take it for granted 
what could happen, okay? So it's kind of like you're gonna have a pretty good vision in view, what you gotta do, how to do it, so you do not get to those very negative circumstances by your presumption of what if it fails. And uh, the last one that we do have, that is going to be the six of uh, the six of one. So it does look like that you are gonna learn your lesson here because by the end of the week, you are going to have a peak of experiences. Huge milestone is to be reached based on the nine of pentacles that came up here. And uh, pretty much depending on which is going to be, you are either going to be recognized as a, uh, a very good match in terms of relationship or as uh, your rewards are gonna start coming in right away from that business venture that may appear. Now, as it is general reading, it's impossible to say which is going to be, if I have to judge by just the pentacle card, money, so business, but it may as well refer to, uh, to a, a relationship. It could be as well the relationship in between you and the uh, page of wands as well. Now, if that's the case, you have to know that page of wands, these people, they look very strangely unattached to emotions you know it's like whatever you say they they don't care right it's just you know all that they uh how can i say all that they cling cling into is to be around you and whatever you say is it seems that it doesn't throw them off balance but that is just on the outer look uh, deep down within themselves they are very very fragile and if you do say something to in not to insult them but to provoke them in a bad way they're going to take it very personally, but not right away, okay? They are not going to backlash right away. They are just building and building up until they grow to the, to the queen of wands and then God helps you, right? Then hopefully God is going to help you if you allow the situation to develop such a way because if it does develop to the queen of wands and uh, you are on the uh, negative side of the scale for the queen of wands, Ooh, that's quite a formidable fall. So uh, that being said, Gemini, this was your a, a weekly general tarot reading for December uh, 28, 2020 to January 3rd, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and uh, we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.